Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy. If you are new here, today I'm sharing with you five different chicken recipe ideas. Before we jump into the video, I want to thank you Taste for sending me these bright colorful measuring cups and measuring spoons. I absolutely love these. They are just so bright and cheerful. So the measuring cups are 18-8 stainless steel. They have a nice smooth edge, thick bottoms. Like I said, they're 18-8 stainless steel. You're not gonna have rust on the cups. The uh, measurements are engraved on the handles, so they're never gonna rub off or anything, and they're very easy to see. They have US and metric measurement on them. The handles have a silicone padded handle to them, which makes them a little bit easier to grip. They come in black, purple, orange, blue, teal, and then the multicolor like I have. I will leave all the information down below in the description if you want to check them out. For dinner tonight, we are having Bucky's chicken quesadillas. That's what we're gonna call them because we use Bucky's barbecue sauce. Amelia requested this dinner, so what I'm doing, my, my chicken breasts are still partially frozen, so I have them in my Instant Pot, and I'm gonna do uh, probably about 26, 27 minutes on it because they are still partially frozen. Once it's done, I will shred this with my hand mixer and then I'll put a little bit of the Bucky sauce on it and then make some quesadillas with it. Easy peasy. I completely forgot to take a picture of the quesadillas once they were finished. We used regular tortillas and then I used my low carb tortillas and used some mozzarella cheese on the inside of them. This next meal, Jason found this recipe on TikTok. So I'll put that information down in the description and try to tag the person's TikTok account on here. Um, so what I just did was cut up the chicken breast into small strips. And now I just added in some garlic, about three to four garlic cloves. And then I'm gonna add in all my spices, which are oregano, paprika, onion powder, chili flakes, and then salt and pepper. For the oregano and paprika, you use one tablespoon, and then the rest of the spices, you only use one teaspoon. You also want to use the juice from one lemon, and I'm just rolling the lemon on the countertop this helps you be able to extract more juice from the pill. Once I have that added in, I'm just gonna get in there with my hands and mix it all up, and it should have a nice red color to it. In my skillet, I have some olive oil heated up, and I'm just gonna place all of the chicken in that and let it cook until it's all done. While the chicken finishes up cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make the spice sauce. What you're gonna need for this is fat-free yogurt, sriracha, um, I am using the hot sriracha sauce, a garlic clove minced, fresh parsley, and then half a teaspoon of salt and pepper and a little bit more lemon juice. You will then mix all of this together and this is what you will put on top of the chicken once you start to build up your chicken wrap. This was really good. Um, I'm thinking about making another batch of this and just keeping it in the fridge as a dipping sauce for uh, chicken or meat. I think it would be good on fish too. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to build the wrap. I'm just using my low carb tortillas, placing some chicken on there, lettuce, red onion, some tomatoes, a little bit of cheese, and then that um, sriracha sauce. This was really good. It is kind of spicy, especially if you use hot sriracha. So just keep that in mind if you're not too keen on really hot foods. And then just wrap it up and enjoy. This next recipe is also from TikTok that Jason found. So what I'm doing here is adding my chicken to the Ziploc. I'm using my meat tenderizer and I'm just pounding the chicken to get it to where it's all the same thickness because whenever you're grilling or even cooking the chicken, you'll have one side that's really thick and then the thinner side or end and you want it to be all the same thickness so that it will cook evenly and you don't burn the thinner side so for this sauce you're going to use a can of jalapenos about half a cup of plain greek yogurt juice from one lime some minced garlic or you can use fresh garlic and about half a cup of cilantro and then i'm just going to blend that using my ninja I think this sauce would be really good on some grilled shrimp as well. So I may have to do that, make the sauce up and try it. The only seasoning that I'm gonna put on the chicken is salt and pepper. I'll do it on both sides and then it'll be time to toss it on the grill. I'm letting the chicken grill on one side for about a minute, a minute and a half, and then I'll flip it, and then I'm going to add on the cilantro sauce on top, and then flip it again, add the cilantro sauce on the other side, and then finish grilling them until they are completely cooked all the way through. I don't know what the deal is with all the birds. They're going crazy. The chicken is all done, so I'm going to remove it from the grill. And Isabella, my 15 year old, was inside making us some side salads. And that was it for dinner. This chicken was very, very good. We had some left over, and Jason used it in a quesadilla, and he said it was very good that way. This next meal was much tastier than what I thought it was going to be. Jason even said that he wasn't really looking all that forward to it, but once he started eating it, it was really good. He even went back for seconds. So what I'm doing is cutting up some chicken breast into bite-sized pieces, and then I'll put that to the side and then cut up some cabbage. I'll also chop up an onion and some green bell peppers. 
I love my little chopper here. It is so quick and easy to use, but be careful because the blades are super, super sharp. I have cut myself on it probably three times now. <laughs> so just be very careful if you get one of these. I'll have it linked down in the description below if you wanna check it out. So in my Dutch oven, I have a little bit of olive oil in the bottom and I'm adding some minced garlic and then my onions. I'm gonna let that saute just a little bit until it's fragrant. Then I'll add in the chicken and let that cook a little bit. Once that has started cooking, I'll add in the cabbage. I'm now going to add in my low sodium soy sauce. You can also use coconut aminos if you would like, but I was trying to keep it as low carb as I could. Um, the recipe called for a quarter of a cup, but I used a little bit more because it seemed like I had a lot more cabbage. And then you're going to add in some ground ginger, salt, and pepper and mix that all up and continue cooking it until the cabbage is cooked down. You'll also add the green peppers in at this time as well and mix it all up and then dinner's done. I love one pot meals. Anything that saves me from having to do a ton of dishes is a winner in my book. I purchased these whole chickens from a meat market in town and it was already seasoned. It has like a Cajun seasoning on it. So I decided to cook it in the crock pot and then I made some canned beets and corn on the side. This was such a good meal. This is my plate. I had cucumbers with it instead of the corn. Again, keeping it as low carb as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this out with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.